New York Yankees fans, you are now tuned into N1YNews.com. N1YNews, the official YouTube. Hey, Yankees fans, how's it going? Like always, hola, como estas? This is Felix. And no, I'm not King Felix, but that name was taken already, so I can't call myself that. I'm just joking. Yankees fans, relax. I'm not a attention whore like uh, LeBron James. LeBron James jumping from team to team. Sunday night baseball, the Boston Red Sox versus the New York Yankees. Hey, let's just announce LeBron James signing with the Lakers. Yeah, what a coincidence. One of the highest, arguably, baseball matchups of the year. Let's just announce it strategically on ESPN while the Red Sox and the Yankees are playing. Hey, if I were Major League Baseball, I would be upset with ESPN. ESPN is horrible, okay? That woman, I don't know her name. I'm not trying to sound sexist. She is horrible. Alex Rodriguez, I'm sorry you are a Yankee, but you are horrible. Horrible. ESPN, shut off ESPN. ESPN, really, in my opinion, it's a virus. So let's get into the Yankees. In my opinion, there's a 100% chance that the Yankees land the Grom. Not 110, 100%. One out of 100, okay? 100% chance the Yankees land the Grom. Just for the simple fact that Brian Cashman, two years in a row, is not going to pass up on a game-changing ace. He did it with Verlander. And we all saw and continue to see what Verlander is doing. So this is a perfect opportunity to get that ace that the Yankees have been targeting for, let's say, two years. Okay? They all thought Sonny Gray was going to be the man. What's that nickname uh, Samanetti Source came up with? Darkness Gray. They all thought Darkness Gray was going to be the man. We're seeing it all over Major League Baseball. Pitchers well into their 30s consistently pitching well. Examples, J. Happ, Verlander, and so on and so on. So DeGrom being 30, really he's just reaching his prime now. And if the Yankees could get him, they'll have a good, what, two full seasons and a half of DeGrom pitching solid baseball. Obviously, if you add DeGrom to your rotation, any Major League Baseball team in contention, he is going to make your team guaranteed favorites to win it all. And I see a whole bunch of Yankees fans out there offering this and that for DeGrom. Offering crumbs, basically. You have to trade a somebody to get a somebody back. Obviously, Torres is an untouchable. But I see Yankees fans not mentioning him. I see Yankees fans mentioning all these other prospects. Low level, mid-level, close to Torres or whatever. But... Not an untouchable. Realistically, if you want DeGrom, obviously the Yankees are not going to trade Torres. We all know that. In my opinion, the Yankees should hold on to Andahar. The only logical solution in where the Yankees are headed by signing catchers, they just signed a international prospect for catching. We all saw the Yankees draft another catcher. The Yankees are not confident with Gary Sanchez. I keep saying this a million times. They don't see Gary Sanchez as a long-term solution at that position. So really, if you want the Grom, a package, it has to be a package of either Torres, Andahar, or Gary. One of those three. Now, if you could minimize the impact of trading away prospects, by training away a Gary Sanchez, would you do it? Yes, in my opinion, I would. For the simple fact that Miguel Andohar, his defense has been solid. That was one of the question marks. Remember everybody saying that, um, including me, that Andohar's defense wasn't up to par. He has proven to be an excellent offensive hitter on top of being an excellent defensive third baseman. So this is why I would keep Andor. He has huge upside. Also, to mention that the Yankees front office and personnel love Miguel Andor. Do you see Miguel Andor after games when he's doing an interview? His English is also up to par. This shows me that Miguel Andor puts in work in every aspect of the game. Sure, people might say, what are you trying to say? He can't speak Spanish. No, what I'm saying is that Miguel Landahor, you can see it. He focuses on the little things, even taking criticism of his defense and improving on it 
on the major league level. No, he didn't have need time in the minor leagues to improve. He did it on the major league level, which to me is fascinating. He's a rookie. He's doing everything that he's supposed to do. So why the hell would I trade Andohar if I could keep him if another dude that's lazy on the New York Yankees who gets questioned about his conditioning, why would I trade him over the other guy that seems not to care that he's up here in the major leagues, huh? And folks, DeGrom to the Yankees is inevitable. Brian Cashman is not going to do the same mistake two years in a row. Imagine DeGrom landing on another team. Also, people are saying, oh, the Yankees should trade for Matt Harvey. No. You know why? Because they had the opportunity to pick him up when he was DFA'd. Also, you don't know what Matt Harvey's going to give you for the rest of the year. He might bomb. He might implode. Who knows what Matt Harvey you're going to get. Also, any trade between the New York Yankees and the Mets won't impact the players involved that much. It won't hit them as hard as, let's say, if you're trading a player to Kansas City or something. They would still remain in New York City, which is a plus. Also, I'm hearing a lot of talk about Hap. I want to trade prospects for Hap for the simple fact that that just rhymed, that he's 35, and that, that, that'll be laughable if the Yankees give up prospects for a 35-year-old, even if he's solid, even if he's going to give you performances in, let's say, close to a DeGrom, it's just going to be a rental for a 35-year-old. So, like I said, all signs point to DeGrom. DeGrom is the man to get. The Yankees have all the chips to get him. It's really a no-brainer, but it comes down to what players the Yankees want to give up? What players do the fans want to give up? Stop hugging on all these players, folks. If you can't win a world championship with another ace like DeGrom, you do it. And like I said, I'll hold on to Torres and Andahor. It comes down to the Yankees developing players and how they're going to turn out. So if you could trade one player that's currently on the roster and sacrifice them for a player that you think is going to develop to be a good major league player, then I will do it. And by the way, you're still going to get the Grom, so that's a win-win. So the Yankees fans, like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.